Hey friend, Callan here from Something's Recording, and today I'm gonna to show you my go-to vocal mixing chain. We're gonna be looking at mixing vocals today using EQ, compression, and de-essing. And this is gonna help you dial in a workflow for cranking up professional sounding vocal mixes right from your home studio. But before we dive in here, if you're ready to go a little bit deeper into the vocal mixing process and really start to dial in your EQ strategy when it comes to mixing vocals, then I have just the tool for you. It is my ultimate guide to vocal EQ, and it is a completely free PDF, just a simple PDF guide that will walk you through how to EQ your vocals step by step to help you get professional and polished vocal mixes without any more of the guesswork. Like I said, completely free guide, and you can get access to that by clicking the link below in the video description. Now let's jump in here and take a look at this vocal. Let me start, of course, by playing you the vocal inside the track here, and you can hear what our finished mix is sounding like for this song. And then I'll solo up our lead vocal, and you can hear what it's sounding like by itself. So here's here's our finished mix for this track. You will send my love on a shooting star. I'll send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right. To me, it won't ever be the same. So please come back. I miss you, Jay. Send my love on a shooting star Send it fast and I'll send it far Hear your voice in my sleep at night But only in my dreams could it be this right To me it won't ever be the same So please come back, I miss you Jay You will send my love on a shooting star So you can hear our vocals got a lot of energy to it It's got some nice character coming from our compressor It's got good highs from our EQ But nothing is too harsh because of our DSers. So let's dive in here and take a look at what these three plugins are doing on this chain here. So I'm gonna actually turn off this guy here because it's gonna turn on and off from some automation we have going on. Uh, let me actually just turn this off here so we're not going back and forth fighting our effects automation here. Here's our raw vocal, you can hear what it sounds like. You will send my love on a shooting star Send it fast and I'll send it far Hear your voice in my sleep at night But only in my dreams could it be this right To me it won't ever be the same So please come back, I miss you Jay You will send my love on a shooting star Send it fast and I'll send it far Hear your voice in my sleep at night but You can hear how much we're waking up this vocal with just these three plugins, adding character, adding energy, and adding a ton of brightness and personality to this vocal. So let's take everything off and let's start with just our EQ here. So let me take off these EQ points. The first thing I'm throwing in, which is always what I'm starting with on a lead vocal, is a high pass filter. I'm up at 171 hertz here on this vocal. So take a listen without the high pass in, and then I'll click it in, and I want you to pay attention how it's just cleaning up the bottom end on our vocal. Whenever you have someone singing into a microphone and they're not really, really far away from it, if they're up on that microphone, you're gonna have some proximity effect, you're gonna have some air bursts or something that goes into your microphone and gives you some low end bumps. We're taking care of all of that with this high pass filter. So take a listen without it and then I'll kick it in. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right. To me it won't ever be the same, so please come back. I miss you, Jay. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right to me and won't. Now, depending on the vocal, this can be a subtle change or it can actually have a big impact. Here, to me, it has a big impact because there's a lot of energy going on down below about 200 hertz here that we don't need really contributing to the volume of this vocal. And by wiping all that out with the high pass filter, we save headroom on our vocal and we also hone in on the fundamental frequency range of this vocal, which is above 200 hertz here. The next thing we're doing on our EQ here is pulling out some of the low mids here. So this is always kind of where I'm starting with vocals is you know high pass filter and then doing any cuts that I need to take care of take care, excuse me, of any nasalness or any muddiness or boxiness that's going on with the vocal. Here I found some muddiness, some heaviness going on around 300 hertz. We're at 324 hertz, and I'm pulling out about 3 dB. 
So take a listen here. I'll hit play without this cut and then I'll kick it in and I'll also boost up so you can hear the frequency range that we're taking care of. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right. To me it won't ever be the same, so please come back. I miss you, Jay. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night but only in my dreams could it be this right to me it won't ever be the same so please come back i miss you jay you will send my you can hear we had some build up around 300 in the low mids there that was kind of contributing this boxiness or this muddy sort of sound to the vocal and by pulling some of that out only about 3 db we reduce the heaviness that's going on in the low mids on this vocal and we clean it up overall so it's going to sound better as we push into our compression and as we boost highs later on. So before we go to the rest of the EQ here, the next piece of the chain that I put in place is my compressor. And I love using this 1176 style compressor, the FET comp here in Studio One. I love pushing into this. It gives so much character and emphasizes so much personality in vocals while also doing you know that compressor thing of evening out our vocal. We are at point Five, five milliseconds, got lights in my face as I'm looking up there. 0.55 milliseconds on the attack, and then 50 milliseconds here on the release. So medium slow attack for this unit, but still very, very quick overall. We're still under a millisecond on the attack. And then release is as fast as possible with this unit, so 50 milliseconds. We wanna grab any peaks that are going on with this vocal, and then let go as fast as possible. That's gonna help us level out our vocal overall here. We're just pushing the input up to we're getting seven, maybe 10 dB reduction. It's gonna be a lot, but it's gonna even out this vocal and give us a ton of character. And then we're just pulling the output down here to we're evening out the volume in and out of the compressors. So take a listen here without it, and then I'll kick it in. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right. To me it won't ever be the same, so please come back, I miss you, Jay. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right? To me it won't ever be the same. So, so we get a couple things going on here from this compressor. It adds some of the low mid energy back on our vocal, which makes sure it's not thin feeling after we do those cuts here or when we boost later. But it also imparts a wonderful sounding character and it emphasizes the personality of the vocalist while also leveling out the vocal overall. So you can hear our input and output balance those louder notes on the vocal while bringing up the quieter parts of this vocal. Listen one more time without and then with. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right. To me it won't ever be the same, so please come back. I miss you, Jay. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it. So that's the second part of our chain here. Now I'm going back to the first part of our chain after our compressor. I like to boost top end into the compressor. I feel like the compressor, especially the 1176 emulations, hold down that top end in a really nice way. So as we boost into it, we get this relationship between the EQ and compressor where they work together to shape our vocal sound overall here. So the first boost I'm always going for on a vocal is up around eight or nine K. It can vary on, depending on the vocal. Anywhere between seven and 10 K is gonna bring up that brightness and that air on the top end of the vocal. It also adds some crispness you'll hear as I put this boost in. So here's without this, this boost, we're at eight K doing about 4 dB. Here's without it, and then I'll kick it in. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right. To me it won't ever be the same, so please come back. I miss you, Jay. You will send my love on a shooting star. Send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my... You can hear it's adding a ton of brightness and air to the top end of our vocal. 
vocal, but it also adds that little level of crispness that kind of gives our vocals some shine and some energy up in the top end so it doesn't feel so dull. Now you can definitely go too far here, so you have to be careful with your top end boost. You don't want to make your vocal harsh or add too much of the sibilance range, and we're going to get there in a second with the last piece of our chain. But the next boost we're doing here is around 3K, and this 3K energy here we're doing about a 4 dB boost. This kind of helps your vocal cut through in a mix, especially if you have electric guitars or keys or a lot of stuff going on. Adding some of this high mid energy around 3K helps make sure your vocal is competitive and that you're gonna hear it and it's gonna sit on top of the track. So here's without this 3K boost and then I'll kick it in. We're doing 3.84 dB, excuse me, at 3K. So without and then with. You will send my love on a shooting star. I'll send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night. But only in my dreams could it be this right. To me it won't ever be the same. So please come back. I miss you, Jay. You will send my love on a shooting star. I'll send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night. But only... You can hear how it brings our vocal forward. It kind of feels like our vocal is getting a little scooped without this boost in and then we kick this little bit of high mid energy in and it brings our vocal forward so you can kind of hear that depth perception change on our vocal with this 3k boost that's our eq and compression now the last piece of the puzzle here the last part of my chain that i'm always having in on vocals is a, a de-esser i'm using a multi-band compressor here as a de-esser and i'm just attacking this 4k and above range 20 to 1 ratio, fastest attack, fastest release. I want to get in and grab those S's or T's or any part of that sibilance range that gets too much, and then I want to let go as fast as possible so we don't ruin or fight that brightness that we just added to our vocal on our EQ. So I'm down at negative 19.3 here on the threshold. Take a listen here without the de -esser in, and then I'm going to put it in. Pay attention to how it just levels out that sibilance range and makes our vocal, our S's and T's feel more natural. You will send my love on a shooting star. I'll send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right. To me it won't ever be the same, so please come back. I miss you, Jay. You will send my love on a shooting star. I'll send it fast and I'll send it far. Hear your voice in my sleep at night, but only in my dreams could it be this right. You have to be careful with de -essers. You don't want to do it with just your eyes because you can get scared by how much reduction you see rather than how much you're hearing. Use your ears and just pull it down till those S's feel natural and they feel real inside the vocal here. Not going too far, but we're not, we're doing just enough here that it feels right for the vocal. So let's throw this back inside the track now here and we'll do a full AB on our vocal chain. You will send my love on a shooting star I'll send it fast and I'll send it far Hear your voice in my sleep at night But only in my dreams could it be this right To me it won't ever be the same So please come back, I miss you Jay You will send my love on a shooting star I'll send it fast and I'll send it far Hear your voice in my sleep at night But only in my dreams could it be this right Three plugins that make up my go-to vocal mixing chain here, starting with EQ, getting rid of the information we don't need, then our compressor, holding our vocal in place, adding some character, going back to our EQ to add some top end and some high mid information so our vocal cuts through, and then using our de to make sure it's not too harsh and that it sits properly inside the track. I hope that was helpful for you. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're ready to level up your vocal mixes and really start dialing in your EQ strategy, then I have just the tool for you and it is completely free. It is my ultimate guide to vocal EQ and you can download it below to start creating more professional vocal mixes in less time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.